Welcome to Chemo Experts to learn about pain. We will discuss what is it, what does it look like, who gets it, and how do we treat it. Pain is an uncomfortable sensation that your brain uses to detect an injury to some place in your body. Pain comes in many different forms. It can vary in intensity and can either be short or long lasting. Depending upon the cause, pain can look and feel different. Nerve pain, for example, can cause stinging, burning, or a pins and needles sensation, or a deep, achy feeling. Pain can either be sharp and pinpointed to a certain location, or more widespread that's difficult to pinpoint. Most chemotherapy does not cause, and shouldn't cause, any pain when infusing. However, some chemotherapy, such as oxaliplatin, can make you more sensitive to things that are cold for a few hours after the infusion. Pain can either be short-lived and acute, or long-lasting and chronic. Chronic pain is usually defined as pain that doesn't go away after 12 weeks. Sometimes the goal of treating chronic pain is to lessen the severity, and not necessarily to get rid of it, as this may not be possible. Uncontrolled pain can have a significant impact on your quality of life. It can lead to a lack of sleep, irritability, decreased physical activity, depression, anxiety, or fatigue. It's very important to control pain in order to prevent these other symptoms. It is also important to communicate with your doctor about any pain you are having. Be sure to tell your doctor what your pain feels like, where it is, how long it lasts, what makes it feel better, what makes it feel worse, and how it affects you. There are many medication options for pain, but the treatment of pain depends upon the severity and type of pain you are experiencing. For mild pain, ask your doctor if over-the-counter medications such as ibuprofen or acetaminophen are safe to try. If your pain is severe or isn't controlled with mild pain medications, stronger pain medications known as opioids may be added to your medication regimen. Opioid medications are available as tablets, capsules, patches, nasal sprays, injections, and even lollipops. Ideally, your dose of pain medication should be slowly increased or titrated to find a dose that provides pain control but doesn't cause too many side effects. Common side effects of opioid pain medications are drowsiness, nausea, constipation, and itching. And remember, most opioids require a written prescription, so be sure to see your doctor before you run out of medication. Common prescription opioids include Norco, Morphine, and Oxycodone. All three require a paper prescription and cannot be phoned in. To minimize nausea and to prevent vomiting, it's best to take opioids with food. If the number of pills required to control pain becomes very frequent, a fentanyl patch may be recommended for those with severe chronic pain. And even though it is a small patch replaced every two to three days, a fentanyl patch will cause all of the same side effects as Norco, morphine, or oxycodone. Bone pain from cancer may be treated with anti-inflammatory medications, opioids, or medications that strengthen the bone called bisphosphonates. Medications such as gabapentin, brand name Neurontin, or duloxetine, brand name Cymbalta, are common medications used to treat nerve pain. If gabapentin is chosen, the dose should be started low and slowly increased. This will help prevent fuzziness in thinking or even unnecessary falls. Many treatment options exist for pain. Ask your doctor which medicine is right for you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and tell us what you think. Click pause now to read our disclaimer. And thank you for watching.